Hey guys and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to go over the new oil cracking ratios for 015. So we're going to start with a standard build and what I mean by standard is no modules and no beacons and then we're going to show a beacon and module build down here and I'm going to give you the numbers right off the bat here for anyone who just wants the numbers and doesn't care how we actually arrive to that and the math behind it. Uh, so I'll give you those numbers and then we'll actually go over the math, uh, how, you know, and how we actually get these numbers. I'll go over those uh, together with you. So for cracking, to use up all your uh, liquid essentially, so to use up all your heavy oil and all your light oil and to pretty much just get petroleum uh, and to have nothing really back up except your petroleum potentially if you don't use it all, but that's okay. Um, to do that, a very, cl a very close ratio is going to be eight seven one okay so eight refineries to seven uh light to petroleum to one heavy to light now this is not exact when i go over the math you'll see that it's not quite exact but it's close enough if you want a an actual perfect exact ratio then you're gonna have to build quite a bit bigger because that the closest um the, the smallest thing you can get or build you can make with a perfect ratio is 25 refineries to 21 light to petroleum to uh, two I think heavy to light or three sorry three heavy to light so 25 to 21 to three okay so that's quite a large build now that will be perfect okay so here's your ratios now I'm gonna turn this on and I have bottleneck I'm using creative mode here these little drainage things but I have bottleneck on so we can actually see uh, see this work, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to kick on our water here. We're going to kick on our oil. And theoretically, these should all work. And there should be no backup. All I have a void on here is the uh, petroleum. Okay, so theoretically, there shouldn't be a backup. Because we should be cracking just about perfectly. You can see all these guys are working. They've gone through at least a process now. And we're not backing up in these pipes at all. We're not really backing up in these pipes at all. And we do have a fluid menu here. We are making uh, a fair bit of petroleum. So this can show that this guy is working. You don't see any, any red or orange lights. Uh, this guy you do for a second. And again, that's because it's not quite perfect. So that takes care of that. Now, let me just tell you the ratio for this one down here really quick for anyone who just wants the number and doesn't care how we get it. Um, the ratio down here is going to be 10 uh, to 14 to 2, which is ironically a double the ratio that it was in 014 for a non-module build, if you remember the 571. Uh, this is now easy to remember because this is just 10, 14, 2, which is double that. Now, this is not exact either. Um, and there is a higher, like, higher level of this that is exact. And I will link a Reddit post where a guy went over this very thoroughly, um, very well done, that explains these further. But anyway, that takes care of that. So let's move into how we actually arrive at these numbers. So I'm going to bring over a notepad here where I have some things written down and I'm going to pull a calculator over. I know it's blocking the screen, but we want to look at the numbers right now. So we have that. We have a calculator here. So what we do, right, is we check our refineries, and if we look here, we can see these guys produce 10 heavy oil per process, right? And we need to keep in mind that a process takes 5 seconds, you can see down there. So if we go ahead and open this up, uh, 10, right, so 10 heavy oil per process times 8 refineries, that's how many we have here, is 80 heavy oil per 5 seconds. Now I want a per second base, because this is a lot easier to calculate, right? So... We take 80 and divide it by 5, and we get 16 per second. That's pretty easy. So between all of our refineries working together, we're getting 16 heavy oil per second. If we go and look at the heavy cracking, um, it produces, or it requires, sorry, uh, 40 heavy oil per process. And the process takes 3 seconds base rate. Um, so if we look here, I mean, the process takes... Three seconds. But what we have to keep in mind is that these chemical plants have a crafting speed of 1.25. Okay, so it's actually going to do this faster than three seconds. So we take that three seconds 
up here and we divide it by 1.25, the chem plant speed. Um, so the actual time it's going to take, guys, is 2.4 seconds. So then we just take 40 heavy, divide it by 2.4, and we get 16.66 per second. So this guy actually requires slightly more to work um, than we're producing. That's why I said it's a pretty close ratio. I mean, it's close enough, right? Um, and it outputs 12.5 light oil per second, uh, 30, because it outputs 30 per process, divided again by the 2.4 seconds, and that's what we get is 12.5. So light oil, we look again at the refineries. Um, they produce 45 per process. There's eight refineries, so we get 360 per five seconds for all eight of those refineries. We take that 360 divided by five to get our per second rate here, which is 72 per second. And we have to add in, remember, the light oil we're cracking from this because you know we need to add that in for our light to petroleum cracking setup. So we take that, and that gives us 84 and a half Per second okay between the refineries and the heavy to light so our light cracking again we need to get our actual speed which is just the same 2.4 seconds so we take um, 30 light because that is how much this requires you can see down there 30 light oil 30 water so we take our 30 light and we multiply it by seven chemical plants because that's the number we have which equals 210 and then we take 210 and we divide it by 2.4 and we get 87.4 per second, okay? So that's that's how we get that. Now, it's again, we're actually needing a little bit more light oil than we're producing to make this work fully. And that's why this guy once in a while won't actually work. Um, he doesn't have enough input, but that's okay. It's overkill. If we took one off, it wouldn't be enough, and we start getting a backup, so I would rather have overkill. That's how we arrive at this, and you can see, aside from this guy, it's all working perfectly. So there's that for you guys. This one is a bit more complicated because we actually have to calculate based on the different speeds and productivity. Now, if you want, because I'm not going to go super in-depth on why these calculations are the way they are, um, I actually did a video it's in my main tutorial playlist, not the 015 one, but the main one. It's the last one in the playlist on calculating ratios. I explain how to calculate um, for like speed, like different uh, machine speeds and uh, modules in them. So check that out if you're not quite sure on this. But essentially, same thing. So we have 10 refineries. So let's open up our notepad here. I didn't bring the calculator out for the first one because it's pretty straightforward. On this one, I will bring out the calculator though. So, module beacon. We're down here now. Uh, again, right, same recipe. 10 heavy oil. We divide that by... Now, Now this is a separate calculation, all right? We can't do it the same way we did the other one because we have our speeded machines and our modules. Okay, these refineries now have a crafting speed of 5.55. You can see down there. And a productivity of 30% or 1.3. Okay? So, what we need to do to get our per second rate is we need to take the input amount essentially which is 40 uh, or it's input or output this actually can work both ways um, you have to change it a little bit depending um, but essentially that's for cracking um, we take our input or our output in this case which is 10 heavy oil right per process so we take 10 we divide it by the craft time not not the craft speed of the machine, but the craft time of the actual recipe, just base rate, right? So we divide it by that, right? The process is a five second process. And then we multiply it by the speed of the machine. There's an should be an extra five in here. And then we multiply that by our productivity amount, which is 1.3. And that gives us 14.43 and that extra five. Okay, so this is 14.43 per second, and that's for one refinery. So that we have to take this amount, right, and multiply this by 10, because that's the number of refineries we have, 144.3 per second. Okay, that's how much heavy oil we're getting. This is a lot. I mean, you can see, you can see the difference, guys, between a speed beacon and moduled compared to not. Um, obviously, it's a double, well, not double, it's two more refineries, too. But so for our heavy cracking, same thing, it, it takes 40 per process. The, the recipe hasn't changed. 
Um, now for this, it's a little bit different. We do not add in our productivity, right? Because the productivity is for an output amount. What we want now is an input amount, okay? So we take our 40, that's how much heavy oil you need for the cracking. And you multiply that by three, because that's the base rate of the process. And then, or sorry, divide. Oh, just clear this. Hitting the wrong keys. 40 divided by three and multiply it by the speed of the chemical plant, which in this case is 5.6875. And that gives us 75.83 repeating. Um, and just to confirm for you, the craft speed down there. Okay. So that's essentially how much um, heavy oil it needs for, for one cracking, right? For, for one chem plant cracking. So then it's very simple. We just take that amount and multiply it by two because we have two uh, chemical plants. And we get 151.66 repeating. Okay, so it needs a little bit more. Again, this is not perfect, but it is very, it's close enough, right? Um, it'll use all of it essentially you want to go overkill on these guys So, you know one of them won't work fully because it's waiting on stuff But that's better than having not enough and it backing up So that's how we get that light oil same thing 45 per process you divide it by the time um, And this is for the refineries again Okay, and then we multiply it by the 5.55 refinery speed multiply that by our productivity and that gives us 64.935 per second. Boom. And then we take that. I'll just go 0.95. I think I miscalculated. Um, but 0.95. So we take 64.95. I didn't add my extra 5 in here. I don't think that was the issue. Uh, and we multiply that by our refineries, right? So 10. 649.5 per second and then plus again remember we have to add in the light oil we're getting from the cracking and I just have written here in parentheses um, if 30 right that's the output we get from these guys up, up there products 30 um, so 30 divided by 3 again it's the same thing which is you know that's the base crafting speed times the chemical plant speed times the productivity and then I've just done times two because that's the number of chemical plants we have. So that's how we get this number. So then we add this number and this number together to give us 700, 797.375. Okay, so that's how much light oil we're getting per second total, including the cracking. Um, and then to crack to petroleum, very simple. 30 per process, if we go up here, takes 30 light oil. Um, 30 per process, divided by, again, the base rate speed, multiply it by the chemical plant speed, and this is how much we need um, per second per chemical plant, 56.875. So we take that amount, uh, 56.875, multiply it by 14, because that's the number of chemical plants, and boom. 796.25 and you can see up here we are producing 797.375 almost exact a little bit off but it's okay all right so that's what this guy will do now I haven't turned this on again because if I did it would have backed up and defeated the purpose but if I do turn all these guys on theoretically there should be not really any backups in this system Again, I just have a void on the petroleum, and that is it. And it will take a minute, because I turn these on in kind of intervals, if you will. And I may have forgotten to connect part of it, which I did. Alright, that's easy enough. So, there you go, guys. That is your ratios and the math behind it. And again, this math, you know, check out that tutorial if you want to know more about this I mean I kind of just went over it here but those uh, calculations can be applied to anything when you need to figure out ratios pretty much and uh, and yeah so there you go pretty much green lights all across the board a yellow or red once in a while because it's not a perfect ratio but this will do you pretty good 
Um, if we, and this guy's still going, if we turn this off for a second and check out the production here, uh, this thing makes, I mean, this is ridiculous. This thing makes a ton of stuff. Um, and you can see we're making like 90 to 100k petroleum a minute uh, through this setup. So there you go. There are your ratios. I hope that helped. And, you know, it was a bit longer, but I really do like explaining the reasoning and calculations behind this because it helps you discover your own builds as well rather than just being spoon fed numbers that you know you don't actually have any idea how those are actually arrived at you know and if they're legitimate so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed i love to hear your thoughts down in the comments uh and if you think for future tutorials should i just give you the numbers and not explain this or do you like the explanation uh behind it you know as long as i give you the numbers first so you don't have to wait for them uh, but do let me know down in the comments if you did enjoy and found it helpful feel free to leave a like I'd really appreciate it and Link in the description for the Tutorial where I do go over the calculating ratios thing uh, More specifically and then also to the reddit post I mentioned earlier. Anyway guys take care Until next time I look forward to seeing you all